Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Harley and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Harley's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Harley's been fitted with his own personal training collar, and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Harley is seated very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first exercise we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Harley. Healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Harley are taking off doing that now. The command is Harley heal. We've also incorporated it into this an automatic sit. Whenever Fred stops his feet, Harley will sit. There's an automatic sit there. And another automatic sit. It's important in the healing exercise that Harley walks nicely on your left. He shouldn't pull ahead of you or lag behind. little correction there. The next exercise we're going to demonstrate is the stay command. The stay is a hand and voice command. Fred is going to use the open flat of his left palm about an inch or so from Harley's muzzle and the one word command to stay. Stay. He then walks out to the end of the training leash. Harley should remain seated nicely throughout the entire exercise. This is a good exercise to practice at home to build up his self-control. You can start at a low increment and work your way up to a higher increment of time. When Fred returns back to Harley, he'll walk all the way around him and back into heel position. And Harley will remain seated nicely until given another command. Good job. We're going to demonstrate that again for you. Some healing, sitting, and staying. Stay. Puts him in a sit, gives him a stay, out to the end of the training leash. And this time, instead of returning back to Harley, we'll demonstrate the recall or the come command. Call him in using his name and a nice voice. He comes in, sits nicely in front of you. Then we have an exercise called the finish, where Harley will heal and run itself around the back of Fred and back into heel position, seated nicely, waiting for another command. Demonstrate it one more time. Leave him in a stay. Harley, Call him into you. Comes in and sits. Harley, and then you heal him around the back of you and right back into heel position. And he sits. Very nicely done. I'm going to take off healing again. It's a good time to remind you that you should practice all of your commands about 15 to 20 minutes a day keeps all the commands fresh in Harley's head and the dogs really enjoy doing it. Now we're going to demonstrate for you our down commands. The first one is down from a heel position. Fred is going to use the open flat of his palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. He then gives him a stay and goes out to the end of the leash. This is another good exercise to practice to build up that self-control. You can start at a lower increment of time and build your way up to a higher one. When Fred returns back to Harley, he's going to walk all the way around him as he did on the sits day and back into heel position. And Harley will remain in a down until given another command. Very nicely done and they're off healing again. We'll demonstrate that again for you. Gives him a down. It's important to follow through. As you see, he didn't go down the first time, so you want to repeat the command and make sure he follows through, follows through with it. This time, Fred will demonstrate the recall or the come command again. Come. 
calls him in. Harley comes in, sits in front of Fred, and then he'll heel around the back of Fred and back into heel position. Okay, we'll give them a second to get lined up for the down from a distance, which will be our final command. Fred's going to leave him in a sit stay and walk out to the end of the training leash. The down from a distance is the only time you use your right hand to give the command. Fred will drop Harley into a down from the end of the training leash. Very nicely done. And then he'll return back to him, walking all the way around and back into heel position. Excellent job. Okay, we've demonstrated for you the obedience commands that Harley has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Harley, and thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.